What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Jones and I am the host of the program Ryan with the Knee. Where we will have candid, honest, hilarious, and sometimes even serious conversation about the topics and happenings that are pertinent to young women and college students like myself. I will be opening up about my experiences as I navigate my way through adulthood with the help of my homegirls, my role models, and of course God. Thank you so much for tuning in to laugh, learn, and kick it with your girl, Ryan with the Knee. Welcome back, everybody, to Ryan with an E. I am your host, Ryan Jones. That's R-Y-A-N-E. And I'm so glad that you have tuned in to kick with your girl. So, y'all, I have been having guests with me for the past four episodes, and it has been so much fun. Like, film with someone else is just way better than being by yourself. <laughs> but today, I have my home skill and biscuit, my ace, my good sis, my friend Kendall. Oh, that. <laughs> This is my friend Kendall, y'all, and just tell us about yourself, girl. Tell us where you go to school, all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm Kendall Johnson. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Graduated from Mel High School in 2020, and I currently attend Hampton as a business management major. Yes, even though we're rivals, I still love my sis. <laughs> I still love her to death. The real HU, Hampton University. Y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all already know. <laughs> Y'all already know who the real HU is. We don't even have to get into that. We don't. So for today's episode, um, I was like, I don't know what to talk about. I was texting. I was like, girl, I don't know what we're going to talk about. <laughs> I just know I want to get on the show because that's my sis and we have fun together. That is. But I was thinking me and her have a very unique and similar experience. Um, we both attend HBCUs, but our freshman year of college was taken from us by COVID. So even though we're freshmen at Howard and Hampton, we're still in the house at with our home. mamas, <laughs> just sitting and doing school online. So I think we're just having to navigate going into the adult world, but like not really under your parents' roof. Yeah, just really. Right. So we're like grown ish, ish. <laughs> like HBCU like the show, ish. right? Like. So we're gonna show. We're gonna be talking about that before we jump into the topic of the day. We're going to go into my favorite segment, the Queen's Corner. And so I have Kendra right here. She's the queen of the day. So to any girls who are younger than us or watching right now, what is any piece of advice or wisdom that you would give them right now? Continue to be strong. And I mean, just because the circumstances that we're in, I'm just yeah. going to base it upon the pandemic and all that. Just keep your head high to let your crown fall. Like, I mean, this will all pass. And so let's get into these topics so how has covid cha changed the way you thought your college experience was going to be like in terms of like independence all the way <laughs> like <laughs> full 180. i just feel like i wouldn't say 360 because i mean well that's the wrong thing yeah but I so mean, 180. 180 yeah, so yeah. Like, i wouldn't say it changed all the way <laughs> okay but i mean it has hindered it all a lot, like, I mean, I'm still on curfew, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and depends, like, I, I, mean, I, guess I got a car, I guess yeah. you can say, that's why I don't think it's, like, really detrimental. Like, but you had a car in high school. Yeah, I did, but I mean, like, I could still be, like, out here, no car, no <laughs> term of transportation, <laughs> can't do it, I want to, can't go, I won't, so I mean, I feel like that is, like, the only yeah. independence that we still have, I mean, I have a little bit, I'm bending, because I mean, I am 19, like, we can't keep doing this, <laughs> like, I just them in your house, but at the same time, I'm See, trying to Kendall's, be a college freshman. Right. Kendall and I are like, I want to say we're polar opposites, but we're very different. And Kendall, like, like she's going to do what she wants regardless. And that, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, she knows what she wants to do. I'm, I'm going to go after that. She's going to do it. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm a little scared. So, I would say... Be brave, sis. I would say... <laughs> like, like, I mean, we get older. Like, I cannot keep doing this. This is baby thing. <laughs> like, I just thought... Not even saying that, like, being in the house is bad. I mean, it's not fun. But, like, you think your first year of college, like, freedom. We free. Like, young and free. <laughs> like, this is the one we've all been waiting for. And it's just snatched at the neck. Yeah. Like, like it's snatched away. And it's just really confusing because, like, I know that if I were in D.C., I wouldn't have to... 
what ask you for where you at. Can I go here? Who you with? <laughs> like, it wouldn't be all that. It would just be it like, would not. hey, mom, good. Just got out of class. Gonna go do this X, Y, and Z with my friends. Like, it would just be that. It would be different. So, I, COVID really got us messed up. It does. It changed our entire lives. Okay. So, the second question, which is the premise of this entire episode. Would you say that you feel grown? No. <laughs> okay, even like COVID aside, would you say you felt grown? Like if we were in college right now and you was on that campus, would you feel like, oh, I'm a grown woman? I mean, I would go back to grown-ish. Cause I mean, <laughs> right. like, yes, I feel like I'm gonna have my own independence or I mean, responsibilities. I'm in Virginia, a different state many miles away from Kentucky, so yeah, I'm grown. Like, I'm at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to feed myself, right. clean my clothes, I mean, <laughs> do everything I would grow up would be doing. So, like, at the end of the day, I just feel like I would be grown Yeah, and I would be still here in Kentucky, where I've been. See, I feel like I'm still I mean, 12 years old. And not even, like, on my, saying, like, my mom don't let me do that, but I just, like, I don't, I couldn't see myself living in D.C. by myself right now, mm-hmm. which I guess is kind of good that I got this extra year at home. Mm. But actually, no. if, I was ha- if I was on campus, I'd be happy. Let that be said. But I do feel like, I still feel like I'm a scared. kid. Yeah. Like, mama. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's also like the difference between us. Like, I feel like you're more mature. <laughs> not, I mean, just. Not, I wouldn't say more mature, but I guess like I'm just ready to get, like I'm ready to start the next chapter of my life, like ASAP. <laughs> Whereas I'm like, I don't know. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. So, like, in your house, um, have you and your parents, like, communicated any new boundaries now that you're a college student? Like, do you think you have more freedom, even though we're still at home? Like, have y'all had that discussion about any, like, new rules or whatever? I mean, no, but I literally need to tell you. I've been trying to egg egg it on to my mom. Like, (laughs) it's supposed to be summertime, sis. Like, I'm sorry, but if I was at campus, like, if I was at campus this whole time, there's no way I would be coming home at (laughs) 1 a.m. <laughs> just like, just let that be said. There is no way I would come home at 1 a.m. So, like, I mean, I just feel like I'm, I'm easing her way. Like, this curfew needs to be extended. It has yeah. to extend it longer. Like, this weekend, I mean, she sent it a little hour, but. <laughs> that was it. That reminds us of spring break. So, junior year, me and Kendall went on spring break together. You know, and high school <laughs> spring break, Florida right. lit. Everybody's there. And so, every <laughs> night, though, we were in Destin, Florida. So, Literally during spring break, everybody in Louisville goes to Destin. So all of everybody was there. It was everybody, lit. Everybody it's like, lit. Um, so her mom will let us go out at night though, and every night we had to be back at at twelve, twelve something <laughs> 12 like that. On the night, we, we are not like we are not that anymore. Like that, them days are over. And like for me though, like I feel like I was doing something because I don't think my mom will. I don't know. Your mom would not be saying 12. <laughs> I don't know because I've never really been in that situation, I guess. But, like. But she wouldn't. I know she wouldn't say 12. I don't I know. Just, no, I do. <laughs> I know. She would just be like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it could have just. Yeah. Because we're, I mean, she knows it's spring break. We're all from the same city. Like, for you to cut out night, it's short. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was driving because Kendall put what. I don't know. We'll be together. Oh, I'm the driver. driver. I, I, would, I didn't know how to drive. Oh, yeah, you didn't know how. Even, I, but to, Kendall has her full license and. If we're out somewhere, I'm driving her car. I'm the driver. Cause, well, I don't trust driving the car with her. No way. <laughs> don't do it. The me. driving skills. <laughs> so do that. But her to come on here and bash me about my driving. Like, how you died? Are you dead? I'm not dead yet. Right. Probably because most of the time I'm behind the wheel. Anyway, <laughs> so we was we checked the time. We just we was edging it though. <laughs> oh, we can leave at 11:45 and get back to the hotel on time. Just hurry up, go to truck K. And we was driving like. We probably could have got pulled over the way out. We was speeding, trying to get back to the hotel in time. I mean, fun well, we was going to have fun, but we was going to make sure we got back in the house. If we come back at the next day, <laughs> I already knew. As soon as we was late, we was in that hotel. 10.30. Couldn't do nothing. <laughs> Couldn't do nothing. I said, we might as well stay. <laughs> but we had so much fun. We Ms. did. Miss I love you so much. You <laughs> my girl. You know. I mean, yeah, my mama, but. <laughs> but yeah, my, I would say, in terms of, like, boundaries, my mom was like, well, do you feel like I should treat you, treat you like a baby? And I was like, I don't feel like I'm being treated like an adult necessarily. Like, I don't think they see it. I feel like they think, are you living your life? Yeah, like, uh, but I still got to. And I think it's 
all parents have the reason they want us to be safe, they care about us. Which so makes like, sense. I mean, we are like, what's been going on recently? Exactly. In the pandemic, all that. I understand that. But at the same time, if I'm going to Target, I got to tell you where I'm at. <laughs> this Target. And I know I'm going to go home. I'm going to whip my butt. <laughs> but like, I'll leave the house for 10 minutes, go get me some Starbucks, get a drink. <laughs> where you at? <laughs> what time you get home? I'll go pick me up a ginger ale at the store real quick. It's my trip. <laughs> like, like, it's my trip. I was my just trip. going out a little outing real Literally, quick. Like. So that's something that I think if people are our age, definitely have that conversation. Yeah, we, definitely. Me and mom have talked about it a little bit, but just set those boundaries. Let them know your feelings. If your parents are there for it, yes, let, let them know you. your feelings. I understand it's your parents, but I mean, you have to just adjust it a little bit. I mean, I feel like you have to just find a way to say it if you want it to be different. Yeah, take that with a grain of salt depending upon how strict your parents are. A recent article in Newsweek cited that black colleges produce 70% of all black dentists and doctors, 50% of black engineers and public school teachers, and while HBCUs only account for 3% of the nation's colleges, they account for about 20% of the degrees awarded to African Americans. Did you know that 40% of the African American members of Congress, 50% of African American lawyers, and 80% of African American judges all graduated from an HBCU? Simmons College of Kentucky is just one of America's historically black colleges and universities that can help you pursue and realize your dreams. Simmons College of Kentucky, creating the next generation of thinkers. So, of course, COVID has changed everything, as we said. But how has it complicated um, what it means to be a college student um, as in terms of, like, not being able to have that real college experience? For me personally, I feel like, do you feel like it's harder to be a student? Yes. Like, I'm I just, struggling. <laughs> like, I just feel like it's so hard to be a student. Like, that motivation is just lack. Like, for me to have to wake up and get on the, and look at a screen and be taught by a screen as, and, like, opposed, as to going to, to the class, yeah. I feel like I would just be such a, like, more strong, like, <laughs> well, like I didn't. I'm that student. You like, I it. still am, but, like, at the end of the day, it's just so different. Like, and I feel like if we were on campus, like, yeah, we had to study for our test, go to class, but yeah. at least we can go to the go to the lab. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be with my friends. We at the lab. It's like gonna be still, like studying. Like for me to sit at home all day studying, I'm like, it's not like you, it's there's no reward. It. it feels like there's no reward because I, it's like we're just am I working? Like, <laughs> right? And like me, I. I'm not working right now. I wish I was getting some money, so I don't even have no monetary gratification. I just be just school. studying. Just school just, is all I do in this show, which is the best thing that's happened to me. Like I just feel like it's just so hard to be a student and actually like rip, like keep that motivation up. Like it's just hard. I yeah. feel like that has conflicted with being being a student, and like I just feel like it's so hard to get like active, like with like your peers. Like yeah. I mean, yeah, like we talk to them, but like. I don't want to text you all day if I'm never going to see you until I go to Hampton. Like, I don't want to text you the these online virtual organizations. Like, yeah, I'm going to go to the meeting. I'm going to jump on the Zoom. But, like, what do we really do? <laughs> Talk. Like, 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 I've noticed a lot of Howard people uh, have, like, made friends, like, with their group chats and stuff like that. And, like, I haven't necessarily been able to make friends virtually, like, or, like, through group group chats or through Twitter, like, that hasn't worked for me yet, so like sometimes I'm like, dang, are y'all gonna have all the friends when we when, get there? Yes, yeah, so the same thing is for like, me. I also feel like, just because we live in Louisville, like it's kind of hard because yeah. like most of the people that go to those, like go to our HBCUs, they live relatively close or in the same Atlanta, city. Atlanta, New York. You know, where they get it popping. Like, we in this little hit town. <laughs> Ain't nobody here. Y'all do Louisville. It's some people, but no, definitely. For it's like all. one, two. Like, I mean, luckily, Courtney. I mean, yeah, she, yeah. her best friend goes to Hampton with her. Yeah, she goes to Hampton with me. But I mean, like, it's just not the same either because we want to have new, like, you want to make new, new, people, new people, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm nervous. Hopefully, they're going to be there. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, people will be my friend. I will hope so. Like, no, they will. 
<laughs> Fair. They come, drop three hours to me. <laughs> like, that's Every it. Every weekend I'm with Kendall at Hampton. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, okay. So the next question is, have you found any new ways to navigate becoming an adult? Like, have you been making your own doctor's appointment to paying for your own gas? Or have you been cooking in the house more? Go get my own takeout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, go get my own takeout. I mean, go to work. You, so when you get your takeout, do you get it for your parents though? <laughs> I mean, it just depends. No, that's why I've been. That's why it's making me independent. I'm getting my own food. <laughs> She's being herself, not not them. I mean, if we're like happy, like if mom's like, can pick this up? Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. But you're not about it. to dinner on me. <laughs> I'm broke. I'm in college. Like. <laughs> No, no, I get it. Like, <laughs> like no, I'm saying that too. Um, yeah. Then that. What else you say? Pay my like pay your my gas. gas. Yeah, I mean, I pay my gas. I don't. I have been, but usually I don't. Yeah, so I, 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 we have to start these things. Yeah, it's gonna be like. I'd rather not though. I need to hurry up and get a little cooking lesson going. Cause oh, okay. I've been cooking. My mom. She'll be like, oh, I'm making chicken and greens and sweet potatoes. And what she does is she'll say she's making it. And then how me do it, which I think in the long run has helped because I've been in the kitchen, y'all. Like that's so good. But for me, like, I can't. I'm scared to take a pie out of the oven. Like I can't. <laughs> pie out the <laughs> what oven. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Like I'm just like. Did your mom like not make you help? I mean, like what do they make? Like what do you mean make me? Help? Mama would be like, get her and cut these potatoes. <laughs> Season this I chicken mean, real quick. Like just a lean. I don't know. I feel like she just oh, yeah. like. I mean, I mean, I should be watching so I know what to do yeah. when I get up because, babe. <laughs> you're going to be hungry and you're not going to want hungry not, and broke. Not ramen noodles. Oh, man, hungry and broke. That's going to that's gonna be so much fun, though. I'd rather be hungry and broke <laughs> than cooking on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, geez. In the grand scheme, that sounds a little bit more fun. So how has staying home with your family turned into a positive for you, though? I mean, of course, we've gotten closer. Like, my brother had, will come home more. Because, I mean, like, he works online, too. He lives in Atlanta, by the way. But, like, he'll come home. And then, like, it'll just be, like, a, you know, a little family affair. Cute. <laughs> nice little family affair. Like, but for real, COVID has made us, like, so closer. Like, That's So, it. it's like, dang, like, I know, like, when I'll be leaving in these next few months, I'm going to be like, dang, like. That's my sis. That, like, for real. Because, I mean, it's like, dang, like, you got to tease. Like, I was here for a <laughs> little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, like that's how it's been for my family too. Um, Cause my mom's in school too. So it's not like she's going out to work. So me and my brother and my mom all in the house doing school. Literally. Then everybody comes to my room and we watch movies or whatever. And while yeah. they be getting on my nerves sometimes. Um, <laughs> I love being with my family. Cause I feel like we are super funny together. Um, but yeah, I think like you said, it's made us so much closer. Uh, and I know that if I weren't home, if I were in college, there have been experiences that I wouldn't have been able to get, like, yeah. or just those conversations with my mom, like, not saying that my mom's turned into my friend because she's not one of my little friends, <laughs> but I definitely see my mom more as a woman rather they than like, just my mom. Like, yeah. she has a life, she has things that she thinks about, concerns, passions, that, like, I feel like kids don't even think about because as they mama, just, she gonna cook me dinner. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. So I think I've been able to build that relationship with my mom, so that's been good. Okay, so you brought this up, but the question is, do you think since we've been home this extra year, do you think your parents are going to be, like, happy that you're leave, like finally leaving, or they're going to be, like, sad because they've got you here for this extra year? No, I know my mom and dad are going to be sad, like, especially my dad. Well, both of them are going to be sad. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, like, I've been with y'all, like, a uh, whole another year. Like, I was supposed to be out of here last August. <laughs> but like a whole another August. They got August. lucky. They got lucky. Yeah, they did. But at the end of the day, like I feel like since like what's been going on, like I don't know. I feel like it's kind of just been a little reckless around these global streets. Like mm -hmm. oh, I'm just ready for me to like get out, out of the of city. People. Like mm -hmm. just to just go to that chapter of my life. Like I feel like I'm in 13th grade. Like that's what I was saying. Like I just feel so stagnant. Yeah, like it's, it's stagnant. Like ugh. I'm like I was saying on the other episodes and I've said it before, I like to be busy. Like I'm yeah, used to doing to this, do. this, 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 this. Before this show, school. <sighs> Home. TikTok. <laughs> Literally. That's like, all I'm doing and I just hate living so such a boring so life. Boring and like so much time, like free time, like and of course, I'm not gonna do it being productive. It's just 
I mean, yeah. <laughs> I wish, but it just gets hard. It it's, it does it's get just, hard, but like, yeah. that's just, I don't know. Okay, we so. We did not see that coming. Like, no, COVID. it took us by surprise. You couldn't tell me I was going to be in D.C. Couldn't tell me nothing. Like, I was supposed to leave for Virginia April 2nd, I mean, August 2nd. Like, wow. I was out of there early, like, summer over. Like, and then they, what did they summer. tell you, like, because you was on vacation, right? I was at the beach. And they're going to tell me, oh, we decided to, that's <laughs> Y'all do. Huh? <laughs> like I had all my stuff packed, bags packed, oh my everything. Like, so did you have like all your dorm stuff? All of it. Like like we were literally leaving like the next two days, three days. Like that's crazy. Cause I think our moving day was like the August twenty fifth or something like that. And my mom, I think I think we talked about this on um, Miss Michelle's show, but um, talked about like how my mom. I don't think she was mentally prepared for me to leave. Yeah. Cause we, I had a shower curtain. <sighs> That's it. I had a shower curtain and I had like a comforter, but it was like my spring comforter. It wasn't even the, my comforter for the right. fall. And she bought me like um, some picture frames. Not a bed Tall sheet. Paper, none of that. Out. And I just don't think my mom was like, oh, Maybe Ryan's right. actually leaving. So, not luckily, but like, I just, we hadn't bought all this stuff. And I, get, we, I had made the decision to stay home before Howard had said they weren't going because. Just financially. And you had found out that DC was on lockdown. Anyway. Yeah, so I found DC was on lockdown, and my mom was like, We need to think about this critically. Would you rather spend this tuition, this Howard tuition, and not get that full Howard experience? Or you could stay home, save that money that you're not using for your housing fees, and my tuition be free. So just for me and a lot of people that made the decision, I decided not to go on campus before they shut it down yeah. anyway. But then, like, two weeks later, how I was like, oh, no, nah, y'all. Y'all can't come. <laughs> and er, 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 like, it was the week before moving day. Like, it's just, like, it's like, dang, like, you waited this long to just break my heart. Like, I, they I, had us dangling time. by a carrot. And it said, nah, y'all can't come. We it was said, just kidding. Nope. Like, that's just so loud. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this question is kind of fun. Uh, so what are you most excited about when you get to Camp Hampton next fall? God willing next fall so many things like i just really can't wait to meet new people and build up new relationships because i mean like from they're gonna be from all over the world like i just feel yes. like that's gonna be so excited so exciting and then i also can't wait to you know like get really involved like in those clubs organizations like those programs like that's just gonna be exciting for me and i've always been around like this is like my first yeah. like real like we all the same. We're about to be lit. Like, we all it's black. It's the black people. We're about to have fun. I just can't wait. I just can't, like, I've lived in Louisville my entire life. Um, of course, I've traveled to different places, but, like, just, just the idea living, of like, living in a whole different state. Like, I just am so excited. And D.C., like, that's what I'm just excited about. Just, like, yeah. seeing all the new things. We're going to build them trains. Right. Like, like, we got country girls. Like, country girls. Like, girls. One thing I do want to say that's kind of unrelated Kendall and I, like, we've been good friends since forever. Like, like, <laughs> el like probably before elementary school, because we both got St. Stephen. My granny was our <laughs> Sunday school teacher. My granny loves Kendall, like, to this my day. That's nanny, my girl. Hey, like, that is my girl <laughs> forever, forever. So me and Kendall have always known each other, but, like, ex I think during COVID, like, that's my like, son. Like y'all don't, like, y'all don't even know that half. Like, like, we was always, like, good friends, friends, but, like, we have hey, gotten so like, much closer over COVID because we we was going on like hikes. We were in the same boat. Like, I thought we were in the same boat. We just find something to do. Like, we about to do everything. Yeah, like, we was hiking. We go out to dinner. Like, everything. Just find something to do. Just to make our relationship stronger. Just because. Like, that's my fun. Like, that's literally, this is my And when stuff. we get to D.C. and um, Virginia. It's stuck. It's like. Come on, what you doing? Like, Let's go. Like, literally, I just Come can't up. for that. Okay. Um, okay. So, the last question topic that we have is do you think that our HBC experience is going to be better when we come back or is it going to be like worse no, after COVID? I think ours is about to be so it's about to be lit. Like, we are about to be so, we might have the best because just because like it's like you laid like well, you open up these gates and like we are loose like, like I just how I feel like I see them like Opening up them <laughs> gates and everybody's just <laughs> busting through. <laughs> like, let's go. If something is stuck. Then, <laughs> like, then that's all you can say. Like, I just like it's to just be up and stuck. Like, every weekend, like, 
we will have the mask, but we're yeah. gonna be turned up. Like that's hopefully, just, I mean, this is like after COVID. So hopefully, hopefully we like. I'm talking about we're gonna have a party every day. <laughs> like, it's gonna be party <laughs> on the every yard day. in the classroom and library. Every, like, I feel like even like the classroom, like it's gonna just be like it's so much fun. We haven't been in the classroom for in a year. Like dang, like. <laughs> Is this really hey, what I the <laughs> boys? That's what I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's cool. But I, I mean, see these horrible boys. I want something. We new. got new scenery, <laughs> like <laughs> right. yeah. new inventory to shop around. That's why we just can't just get our new environments. Like, yeah, I just like that's gonna be so good for us. Yeah, so we excited. We are. Like, you can fucking girl is right. <laughs> get it going. <laughs> so that was our last question. I hope that you guys had fun with me and Kendall as we talked about. Our journey becoming HBCU students during the pandemic. Um, if you're a college student right now, I'm sure you can relate to many of the things that we've said. Just being, just wanting to get on your college campus, not being sure, like, am I an adult? Like, am I like, grown? Yeah, so. What's going on? My parents, like, I know you guys can relate. So before we get out of here, though, I do want to get into my favorite segment, which is the You Go Girl segment. And so... Today's um, girls, we have two girls, and you know them very well, Taylor, Taylor and McKaylin, and they're both from Louisville, attended male, they go to Clark Atlanta right now, and they have just launched their own luxury unisex eyewear collection, which is called House of Frames, and Kendall was modeling for them, <laughs> her That's year. my sister's, like. And so, um, they have launched all these different um, shades, different colors, shapes, all that stuff, and you can find them at House of Frames. It's not O-U-S, it's um, A-U-S-E, like, like house, house, yeah, <laughs> House of Frames, um, and their website is houseofframes.com. Go support them, support black business, support black women. We are so proud of you guys in this endeavor, and the frames are so cute. So Taylor and Michaela, you go girl, we're Period. so proud of you. We are going to be doing something different. We're going to be like um, reading off some scenarios and I'm going to be asking Jemiah what would she do in this situation and then giving my take on what I would do. So I think it's going to be a pretty fun episode. So Kendall, thank you so, so much for coming and chatting with me today. Thanks for having so me, fun. sis. And thank you guys all for tuning in and listening to us, laughing with us feeling bad for us because we stuck <laughs> in the house. Right. And thank you just for tuning in to Ryan with the Knee. I am your host, Ryan Jones. That's R-Y-A-N-E. And I am logging out. Bye.